Hello everyone, Man of Interest here, and today I'll be going over three different sliders that will give your Topra board MX compatibility. The JCK slider, the KBD fan slider, and the Novatech slider. Regardless of which route you go, I highly recommend you lube your Topra sliders to maximize the smoothness of your Topra experience. I tried all three of these sliders on my Norbatouch, which was the control board for all three sliders. All three were installed with lubed housings and tested with a plethora of keycaps, mostly GMK sets. Let's start with the JTK sliders. You know that sweater you were gifted from your grandmother or maybe aunt about four-ish years ago? Dig that out if you can and throw it on. You know this weird itchy feeling you're getting? Man, this sweater's uncomfortable. This uncomfortable itchiness is how JTK sliders feel under your fingertips. With every upstroke and downstroke, you're met with a feeling of sand. I don't mean running your fingers under cool sand. That's awesome. I mean you're met with the same feeling of sand that drove Anakin Skywalker to say, I don't like sand. In the 2002 film, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. These JTK sliders are coarse, rough, and irritating. But thank god it doesn't get everywhere. I wouldn't recommend these sliders even to my enemies, but perhaps to sand people. You may be wondering, does lube make it feel better? Yes, lube would make it feel better, but not good enough. Lubing these sliders is the equivalent of giving yourself false hope. It's like when you wash your feet at the beach. It won't matter. As soon as you stop the water and step out again, you'll have sandy feet. Sandy feet going into sandy socks, which will go into your shoes. And then before you know it, you'll be tracking it into your car, home, and life. It'll throw you out of whack, just like the tolerance of these sliders. The tolerances are so bad, I say the fit is looser than a wizard's sleeve. Some keycaps will fall out when you simply turn the keyboard upside down. To keep some in place, I've had to use pieces of plastic to help expand the cross stem in order for a more snug fit. Not a perfect solution, but it'll work. The bad news is, even though it will work, it takes work, and a varying amount depending on the tightness of your keycaps. If you don't do this, many of your keycaps will enjoy flying around, especially if you're an enthusiast typist. The last noble failing of these sliders is the wobble. I'm a typist where most wobble usually doesn't bother me. Many people complain about the switch wobble in Zeal's round one of Zelios, but I didn't think it was horrendously bad or insufferable. What is actually horrendously bad and insufferable are the wobble of the JTK sliders. My verdict on the JTK sliders? Don't do it. It's not worth your time or money. Now let's switch over to the KBD fans sliders. They do feel a bit different. How much of a different feeling? It's a definite improvement. The wobble is reduced and the keys don't fly off. It doesn't feel sandy nor scratchy, but despite that, it doesn't feel perfect. It doesn't feel as good as my Novatouch sliders. It constantly falls short in so many ways compared to the Novatouch sliders, but that probably wasn't their goal. These KBD fan sliders are better than the JTK sliders and win my recommendation if you're a baller on a budget. Also, like the JTK sliders, lube makes for a big improvement. With lube, these are quite usable and quite nice. I'd recommend them for the price. These sliders are the kind of mediocrity you want to cheer for, that you hope for. They aren't as smooth as Novatouch sliders, but they're an equal amount of stability on the wobble, which is very, very acceptable. The stabilized keys could use some work, but like again, if you're the baller on the budget, these are the way to go. The true strongman in this competition would be the Novatouch sliders. Some would call them their hero in their ability to be the best feeling MX sliders, and some would call them the heel because the Novatouch is sought after but discontinued. That's a combination that makes Novatouch a bit pricey and much less obtainable than the alternatives. The Novatouch slider isn't as nice as a plain Topra slider, that's a given, but it is better than anything you can choose if you want MX compatibility on a Topra keyboard, hands down. They're not perfect, and the stabilized keys don't sound the best with a quite a bit of rattle, but they get the job done. Being the best at getting the job done is what earned my Novatouch sliders the promotion of being installed on the Norbaforce instead of remaining on their home in the Nova Touch. With lube, they are nice and smooth. Like I mentioned, a major complaint has been the stabilizer rattle, which has never been the best feature of these sliders. You'll want to lube those quite heavily. If you're a baller without a budget, the Nova Touch is hands down the king of Topra MX sliders. Otherwise, if you're a baller on a budget, skip the JDK and grab some of the KBD fan sliders and some lube and you'll be... Gucci. Maybe once I get a plumb board, I can add that to the mix and see how it stacks up with the Novatouch sliders and the KBD fan sliders. But until then, these are the sliders I have to try out and compare against each other on a single board. I hope this helped you out. Thank you for watching.